we drove 120 nautical miles on our trip to Tioman from Singapore. So we started off the trip with just some essentials, ice, drinks, food that's not pictured here, and we cleared the seas pretty easily. Once we hit Malaysia, that's when it started to get really rough. You can see the waves were big, it was wet, it was windy, and we were completely soaked during these six hours that we took up to go from Singapore to Tioman. Now, if you didn't know anything about Tioman, it's actually a island located off the east of Malaysia. There's a lot of amenities, there's accommodations, there's even an airport right here where you can take a plane to come in. We only had 48 hours, so exploration was really limited for us. We didn't snorkel or dive because the waves were too big. It wasn't open season yet, as you can see right now. We'll definitely be back when the waves are a lot calmer. We ended off the trip with a very good steamboat with